that game, Le'Veon Bell only had six carries for 20 yards after suffering a groin injury in the first quarter. Here's Bell on the rematch for the Patriots. This is the game everybody's been waiting to see. Um, it's number, number one and two teams in the AFC um, going at it head to head, you know, so um, you know, this, this is obviously a game that a lot of people, even before the season started and the record was out, people probably circled on the calendars, you know, so um, I'm definitely going to embrace the game, um, you know, going against you know, the Patriots, the, you know, it's, it's a team that's always in the, in the hunt of a Super Bowl. I just felt like I missed the opportunity to get to a Super Bowl, um, you know, but, you know, when this year came around, we seen the, you know, the schedules and everything. Um, I knew I had another opportunity. Um, Lord, if, if I was being healthy and uh, playing the Patriots again, so I mean, it's good opportunities here. Um, we'll go out there and you know do what I can. Eric Dickerson is still with us. Eric, what do you expect from Le'Veon against the Patriots? Defense? Thirty-five to forty carries. That's mm. what I expect. Mm. I expect him to, to run the football a lot. The Patriots give up five yards to carry. They're not good against the run. Uh, both of you guys said that y'all didn't like the way the Steelers were playing earlier. What did I tell you they do? Win. <laughs> they might not be. They find a you way. might not like the way they win, but they win. Mm -hmm. They've got the best offensive line in football. Uh, the leader, David DeCastro. Um, you know, they've got. And, and I, I, let me go back. I, I feel like one thing that Belichick will do is he'll try to take away what you do best. They're gonna run the football at them for sure. But they have all these receivers. They got Juju. They've got A. B. You know, they've got my tape. I mean, they, they've got, you know, they, they've got a, a, a lot of weapons on offense. So run the football is the first thing they want to do. And you saw last week with uh, Kenyon Drake against with Miami, he made the Patriots look like, <laughs> like, is somebody going to tackle me or what? Mm -hmm. You know, lined up outside, um, caught the ball outside, ran the ball inside. So for sure, the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to run this football. I would run it till I'd say, you know what? Come over, come get, get you a few reps, but you're going back. We're going to run it every snap, you know, till they, till they stop it. And that's what I expect. After so if he that. runs it 35 times, he has how many yards? If he runs it 35 times, I think he has about 175 to 80 yards. The, 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 then Pittsburgh wins. Pittsburgh going to win. Oh, so, so it's a done deal, it's, says Eric. Look, well, let's don't, they don't seem to need to play the game. They already, <laughs> the, the game's I, already over with. Well, one reason, well, Le'Veon Bell as a Steeler, when he's getting 23 or more carries, there's 20 and 0. 20 and 0, so right. So that, that's, let's just start with that premise. He's going to get at least those, those amount of carries. But for me, running the football, yeah, you want to gain yardage, but the best defense against Tom Brady is he keep him on the sideline. Right. And when you can control the clock, you can, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Now, the question is, is that I believe Coach Belichick will do everything in his power to make sure they don't have the same mistakes. As you heard Rob Ryan say the, uh, the uh, last couple of days, they didn't set the edge. They didn't hold the edge. Got guys getting a little nosy trying to do something they weren't supposed to do. It. And here come Kenyon Drake out the backside yep. or here come Kenyon Drake frontside. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to be in the A gap and you're in the B gap. So I believe Coach Belichick will do everything he possibly can to stop Le'Veon. The question that I have, will Ben be patient? Because I don't believe the uh, pass will give, the, give up the big play, the 50 and the 30, 40-yard touchdown pass. Can, can Ben be happy with four yards here, three yards there, two yards first down? Can he, can he be happy with that? Because what happens is that you get impatient. And you're like, okay, I'm, finna, I'm trying to sneak one in, and then the ball gets tipped or, and it gets picked. You cannot let Tom Brady get a field goal or a touchdown you turn it over and let Tom get right back on the field because mm. that's when they start to get rolling, they get into a rhythm. Mm. But you remember now, Monday night, they didn't have that big guy. Six foot seven, 270, Gronk. No team has consistently found a way to take him away from Tom Brady. Mm. Can the Steelers do that? I don't think they have anybody on that side of the ball, on the defensive side, that can do anything with Gronk. He, will be the, he, he is the difference in this ball game which is why I think the last couple of days right here on Undisputed, you all but picked the Patriots in a walk, right? Yeah, you I just like said the, this is a mismatch. I like the pass, yeah. <laughs> okay. So this man says Le'Veon Bell is the best running back in mm -hmm. pro football. This man, great running back, says Le'Veon Bell is the best running back in pro football, right? Eli. Right. Not Ezekiel Elliott, Le'Veon Bell. Yes. So to me, if he's that good, at home against this defense, this game should belong to Le'Veon Bell. This game is Le'Veon Bell's game to win, right? Mm -hmm. Am I right? It's, right? it's on a silver platter for Le'Veon Bell 
who his first time around in the playoffs in 2014 missed the playoffs because he was hurt. 2015 missed the playoffs because he was hurt. But he flashed last year in the first two games against the warm weather Dolphins up in Pittsburgh. I can't give him a lot of credit for that, but he ran for 167. Then he went to Kansas City. That was a big deal. Mm -hmm. And it was cold up there too, but he went for 170. That's another Steelers playoff franchise record. And yet at the end of that game up in Kansas City, he says he pulled his groin, tweaked his groin, hurt his groin somehow, and that it was plaguing him early on at Foxborough in the AFC Championship game. And after a carry or two, he just really couldn't go anymore. So he tried six times, and he got 20 yards in a game that the Patriots won in a walk. It, it, it was a no contest. Mm -hmm. It was a yeah. mismatch. It was 36 to 17, but it wasn't nearly that close. So Pittsburgh is flying high with their flying circus. And to me, Antonio Brown, who has risen all the way to second in the MVP odds in Las Vegas, yep. second to Tom Brady, how do you – what poison do you pick here? Because you say, Belichick's going to take something. Slow. What can he take away? He, he can either take away Le'Veon or Antonio. I think he's going to take away Antonio. That, that's where – he is the electric. He is the difference maker. He is the game changer because he can get behind right. anybody. So you have to put two people on him, and I, I don't know, not that you undersell trying to stop Le'Veon, but I just think you have to stop the bomb before you stop the run. No. Well, the, the play-action pass is going to set that up because if you run the ball mm -hmm. really good, mm -hmm. all of a sudden those linebackers, those safeties, they start creeping up. Every time they see the quarterback do this, that, that one step, as you notice, know you take that one step, uh-oh, it's a pass. Mm -hmm. You beat. It's, it's too late then. Mm -hmm. You know, going back to, to Le'Veon in, in the game last year when he played against the Patriots in the playoff, he was hurt. That groin, and, see, people don't realize, they, they think about a groin, ah, you know, you, you can run, you can run and get around, but you got a groin in oh, you. Oh, you, you can't. You can't, you can't do anything. Mm -hmm. He was already hurt. And I said it before the season started. He held out. I think he was, was he suspended? He was suspended or whatever. He wasn't playing. He held out this year. Yeah. He didn't he, come he, to the first he, game. He, he held out. Um, and so when he came back for the season, I said, sooner or later, he's going to have an injury. It comes sometimes in the playoff. It may come late in the season. And sure enough, what he have? A growing injury. Mm -hmm. This year, he's been healthy pretty much the whole year. He's been there the whole time. He's, he's taking those hits on his body. So he's in, like you say, football shape. He's ready for this game. Last week, I think he carried the ball 13 times, 14 times. This week, I guarantee you, the Steelers are going to run the football. It's like different for me. Stop it. Yeah. Stop it. He was no more stop it. Last week against Baltimore, he was more of a receiver than a runner. Mm -hmm. But Baltimore defense is more formidable against the run, run. than the Patriots. That are. is a fact. And that's skip. The thing is, see, you keep missing like, well, he's the best. He should do this. Tom Brady was the best quarterback on the field Monday night. But they weren't the best team. And that's what happens sometimes. Sometimes well, he, he didn't outplay Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler was the best quarterback on the field. Not in the big picture, but in the little picture, but if it was Jay Cutler. But if you tell me Tom Brady, five-time MVP, is the greatest quarterback to ever play, he got to beat old Jay Cutler. But he didn't. So, okay, then. Did, so, they, did they protect Tom Brady? Did he have his oh, best oh, offensive oh. lineman and Marcus Cannon? He did not. Le'Veon Bell plays a dependent position. Mm. The offensive line, are they going to open holes for him? Mm. Well, against, you, you, you brought it up. The Patriots, every time somebody has rushed the football against them, they give up an average of five yards a carry. That is dead last in the National Football League. We just saw them go to Buffalo and give up 183 yards rushing. We saw them go to Miami and give up 120 yards rushing. Mm -hmm. Le'Veon should own this game, right? Yeah. Silver but, platter. But the thing is, yeah, he should, but they got so many weapons. You said it. When he runs the ball 23 times, Le'Veon, they're 20 and 0. Yeah. 20 and 0. Just, that that, that, that right there. there, I'll let you know, hey, we know what we're going to do. So it's we're over. Football. No, hey, it's gone. Come on. Well, that, that's what you said. It ain't nobody say that. I, but I'm going to go back to you two guys. I need both of y'all say, ah, no, I don't like Pittsburgh. I keep telling you what I do. Say what I say. They don't win pretty, but they win. But somehow. they win. That's so all. You said you to see he should get about 175 yards. Uh, he's carried the ball 35 times twice this year. Uh, for 144 did. and 134. And his career high, 38 carries. He had 236 against Buffalo. So mm, Almost got my record. Kind of. That was Belichick. I tried to take him away. Eric, thanks for joining us. Thank Who you. will win the NFL MVP? We'll discuss that with Can Mark Flair next. Uh, no. <laughs>